Hey everyone, I'm Raz the Razplay, and today we're going to show you a simple tutorial on how to defeat the Eye of Cthulhu here in Terraria 1.4.3 and above across all platforms. Now, before we get started, as always, make sure you hit subscribe right now. We're trying to hit 100k. We just crossed 25, but we can't hit 100 without your help. So hit that button now. Also, hit the bell notification so that way when we go live, you'll know. And also, when we drop a new video, you'll be the first to know. And finally, hit like because that's what nice people do. Now, mind the fact that we have Summon Raz here. All right, this is not the gear you're going to be using. I'm using him so that way the slimes don't annoy me when I'm trying to set up the world because it does it did get really annoying when you have a character with no gear on. I tried that. It didn't work. Now, what we're going to show you first, we're going to show you your gear setup. We're going to show you your armor, all the health stuff, the weapons, everything you need like that. Then we'll move on to potions. Then we'll move on to arena. And finally, we'll show you the boss fight. But first, we're going to start off with your gear. Am I doing a lot of edits? Yes, I am. All right, so first off here's what you need as far as armor goes now it's recommended you have either gold or platinum armor you can do that with gold bars or platinum bars but you need a fair amount so sometimes tungsten silver even iron are a better option depending on what you can get this is your best option here this is probably what you're going to wind up with all right number two as far as health goes you see that right there all those little hearts well, ignore the, the gold part that's that's later in the game it'll look like this all right these life crystals right here every time you use one That'll give you an extra 20 health. Now you can go up to 400. The more you can get, the better it is. Spend your time spelunking. You need to get gear anyway. Spend your time underground. Get as many as you can. Get your health up there as much as possible. It'll just make life easier. Anything you have left over, I'll show you. You can use for an arena later on. Now, as far as your accessories go, you've got your gear right there. Now, your accessories. These three up top are the main three that you'll need your fledgling wings, your Hermes boots, and some kind of in a bottle, cloud in a bottle, blizzard in a bottle, sandstorm, one of them. The reason being, this is your flight, this is your speed, this is your double jump. To stay away from the Eye of Cthulhu and all of its moves, you're gonna need these three. It'll make your life easier if you have all three. It used to be that was not an option, so you'd need this, you'd need some platforms, but you don't need platforms anymore, at least I don't think. So, wings, you'll get those in the sky island, gold chest right there gold chest right there those are found underground spend your time underground spelunking we have a ton of videos if you can't find any of these things don't worry i've got seed videos for you how to find all the stuff it's fine now as far as extras go you'll have things like a band of regen an aglet climbing claws maybe shoe spikes shackle early game stuff that can give you if you'll see right there plus 40 damage plus 40 damage we've got movement speed we've got defense all these things will help you. They'll boost everything that you need to stay alive, move quickly, and hit hard. Finally, you're going to need the gold bow or platinum bow. Now, again, like I said, there are many different ways to do this, but this will be the quickest, easiest, most simple way when you're first starting the game. If you've never played before, you don't know the trick to go in and get the, the arms dealer or the mini shark and all that. All you need to know, make a gold bow. You take your gold right here. We'll go talk to the guide. Hello, guide. Go crafting. This is important too. If you don't know how to make stuff early in the game, go to crafting. You take that item. What can I make with a gold bar? Put that right there. Hit that and it'll show you all the different things that you can make. All right. Now we want to make a gold bow. So that'll be made in an anvil. It'll be seven gold bars. Got that? You can do that for your armor. You need 20, 30, 25. Like I said, it's expensive, right? So there you go. That's a little trick for you. If you didn't know that, if you're early game, good to know. Now we're going to head back over here. We're going to put that back. I said put that back. There we go. So now you've got your gold bow. What you need next is you're going to need arrows. You have three options. You have Frostburn. You've got Flaming Arrow. And you've got Jester Arrows. Depending on what you have kicking around is going to depend on what you use. Now, Frostburn is the best. What you'll do, all right, you're going to make an Ice Torch. You see that? Three torches. Ice Block. You do that there. There we go. And now, with 10 arrows and a nice torch, you can make Frostburn arrows. There you go. They're the best ones. You might not have that option, though. So, if you don't have that option, you can go Jester arrows, which are nice because they will shoot through the little eyes, and it'll hit the Eye of Cthulhu. But again, Fallen Stars. That's a little pricey, especially for a couple days. You might not have found enough to even give you enough mana. So, what we're going to use today is Flaming Arrows. It's the easiest one to get. It is simply 10 wooden arrows and torches. That's it. You get 10 wooden arrows, a torch, there you go. You make a bunch. 
We're going to use those with your gold bow. And we're going to show you now what potions you need. All right, here is the potions and buffs you'll most likely have accessible to you. Not all of them, but these are the ones you should have readily available, hopefully. First off, you've got your healing potion. Clearly, you need healing potions. If you don't have healing potions, if you get hit enough, you can't heal. So make sure you have that on hand. It should be the H key. So if you get hit, hit H if your health's getting low. There you go. You restore some health. As far as your buffs, which you will hit the letter B to use buffs before the right before the fight, all right? You have Swiftness Potion, that'll keep you moving fast. You've got Iron Skin, increase your defense by eight early game, it's hugely important. Archery Potion, increases your arrow speed and damage by 20%. That's huge because you're using the bow, right? And then you've got Regen Potion, this will help you get life regeneration, so as you're fighting, your life will regen. And then finally, you've got a consumable, like a lemon. If you knock down a couple trees, you might find a lemon or something along those lines. If it says minor improvement to all stats, there you go. You've got something that'll give you a little boost. Now, let's move on to uh, the arena. All right, again, as far as the arena goes, the rain is not going over. We're just leaving the rain here. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. As far as your arena goes, we're gonna make it nice and simple for you. We're not gonna have platforms and all that kind of stuff. I don't think you need it. Now, what we do need though, campfires. We're gonna have that to summon later on. And if you have extra life crystals, if you've already hit 400 health, you have extra. What you can do, you can have a heart lantern. It's made with life crystal and four chain. Now you might be able to do one, you might be able to do two. We're gonna say you have two if you get really lucky. Then we're gonna go like this. We go there and there. And then we're gonna put another one. It's gonna be a small arena, nothing crazy. Go right here, go right here. There you go. Now you take one here. There you go. And you take one over here. You can space them out more if you want to, but keep it a nice, tight, small arena. Now that's life regen. So you get hit again, your life goes down. As long as you have these right here, you can space them out a little bit more. You know, we'll do that here. We'll bring it over to, just so we have it spread out. Put it right about there. There you go. So now you got life regen. So long as you see this right here, this little tool tip, you'll be fine. And it'll bring you to, and there. That's a good distance right there, all right? And then it'll go just as far the other way. The other thing you'll need is campfire. So we'll put one in the middle. Again, space them out. Put one over here. Put one right about, we'll say, here so long as the tooltip stays up you're doing it right and we'll go one right over here now as far as the arena goes see watch there you go cozy fire life regen life regen it's all about the life regen and you can go all the way even further than that nice so you've got that covered now the final key here is as far as the arena itself like i said you don't need a bunch of platforms or crazy stuff like that all you need flat ground simple as that as long as you can do this and run along all right, you'll be fine. What you want to avoid for your arena though, I'll show you. See over here, you run along, you run along. This spot right here, that right there, you run along, you're doing fine, you come back and you hit a wall. You don't want that, so we're gonna flatten that out. You wanna be able to run straight across, no issues at all. There we go, beautiful. Now, let's get all geared up, we'll get ready, and I'll show you, the oh wait, sorry, okay, so to spawn the eye Cthulhu before I forget about this. It's I will use a suspicious looking eye after 7.30 p.m. and before 4.30 a.m. That's the window you have to fight the eye Cthulhu. Either that, or after you have, I believe, three NPC and a certain amount of health, 200 health, I believe it is, it has a one in three chance of spawning at night if you haven't defeated it yet. So it'd be that or using one of these. You can find these in gold chests. So either way, whenever it shows up, have this ready for yourself and you'll be good to go when he spawns or when you spawn him. Got it? Okay, now let's go to the other character, get you loaded up, and we'll show you how to do the fight. And now a word from our sponsor, and that sponsor, well, it's me. Now we've already said how you can subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, drop a like to help us out as well as commenting down below, but there's two other ways that you can help us out right now if you so choose. Number one, we have a merch store. It has things like a fanny pack, leggings, t-shirts, a really cool water bottle. It's got so many things that you can pick from. Head down to the link below, check out the merch store, Maybe pick something up. And secondly, you can become a member of the channel now. For just $2.99 a month Canadian, you can get a membership, join the channel, get some emojis, badges, show off, and really help us out. So those are two ways as well as the subscribing and everything else. So thank you so much if you choose to help. If not, it's still cool. Thanks for watching the video. Now, let's get back at it. 
all right now before it gets too late you'll see here i have the stopwatch on or sorry the gold watch on so that we can tell the actual time you can use that gold or platinum now let's get geared up here we're going to use the tungsten armor because we're going to be realistic we don't have that much gold all right or platinum we'd love to but we don't we're going to use fledgling wings hermes boots get out of here pal this is why i used summon raz earlier uh we've got cloud of bottle again be that nice and we're gonna go with aglet and band of regen so we'll say we found those all right now we've got our gold bow we're gonna put that right there actually i like that in the number four spot that's just me thing doesn't need to be you thing we've got the flaming arrows we're gonna put that right there perfect get rid of everything else because we shouldn't have those yet and now we get the hold on wait oh we need our potions whoa don't forget the potions yeah, that's important We'll take that just before we summon the eye. So that way we don't lose out on any buff time at all. Get him. Thank you. That's cleared out. Oh, we need our potions here. There we go. Get rid of the rope. And finally, we've got our summon. Now, it's 619. We got about a minute to go. So I will see you guys back in one minute so we don't waste any time and you're not waiting. All right. So what we'll do is we'll show you the first phase into. Get out of here, pal into where it spins around at half health. So there's two phases to the Eye of Cthulhu. The first phase, it just kind of follows you around, has a bunch of little eyes that chase after you. You get rid of those, you attack it. The second phase, you'll notice when it starts spinning around and sheds its skin, I guess, and shows its teeth. So we'll get up to that point, and then we'll pause the game, all right? I will have the audio off so you don't hear my keyboard going like crazy, but just follow along, watch the boss fight. All you really have to do is stand back, avoid, and fire at it with your bow, okay? If you do get in trouble, you've always got your sword here, because you probably will have a sword. So if you get too many of those little lives coming after you, whack them with your sword. Now, let's summon. I'll turn my mic off, and I'll see you at the halfway point. Actually, I probably should leave the mic on a little bit. So what you'll see here, see, you got the double jump. It's not overly difficult, he just kind of follows you around. Jump over, you got the flying ability. Just kind of avoid him. All right, there we go. It's like the work avoidance program. There we go, nice and simple. We're going back and forth. You will get hit by the eyes, but you do have health regen, so that's fine. We already buffed with the B key. There we go, we're flying over. See, you don't really need, because you've got flight, you can easily stay away from him, especially with that double jump. So all you do is hold down the space and hit space again, and there you go, unless you're on controller then it's different there we go i'm not going to try and like super pro this or try hard i'm just going to kind of show you a general idea there we go we fly back over again perfect there we go nice and simple and we're jumping take a little bit of uh damage it's not too bad now when he starts spinning around is when you want to get right in there all right so we're going to switch to our sword here if we can you don't have to there we go and Okay, so that way he's got less defense now. Now, whoa, 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 timeout. So when he spins around, he'll have less, less defense. So if you get him close enough to the ground, use a sword, kind of whack at him. If not, just fire away with your bow. Now, the second phase, it will start diving at you. But again, it's not overly quick. As long as you watch the pattern, it dives at you three times. It won't summon any more of those little eyes, as far as I'm reading right now. So what we're going to do, get rid of these little, get out of here. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 settle down. Coming out of the pause here. So let's get rid of these little guys. See? Three attacks. Okay, get rid of the little guys here. Come here. Come here. Nope. There we go. Now, if you watch carefully, he dies at you three times. Ready? We're going to go back and forth here. Keep away. Keep away. One. Two. Three. Now you start firing it. Now I'll follow you back and forth. Kind of get a little leverage. Or run underneath. As it comes at you. One. There you go. Double jump with some wings. No problem at all. Just back and forth, back and forth. Nice and simple. Comes at you. Sneak underneath or dive over top. Ready? Watch. There you go. Third dive. See? Simple. Just keep you cool. Keep you calm. Focus and go. Focus and go. One. Two. Fly. Jump. Three. We've got our Hermes boots so it can't catch us. we got a switch potion for the same reason. Back and forth. One. Two, you cannot get me. There we go. We're gonna finish him off now. Ta-da! Done. 
I didn't get a mask there, but you can get demonite ore, you can get potions, you can get a mask, things like that. So there you go. Nice, simple, easy tutorial on how to defeat the Eye of Cthulhu. Hopefully that helped you. Hopefully it wasn't too long, but I tried to be specific without being too in detail, right? But anyway, hopefully we helped you out here. And if we did, like I said, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell notification. We'll see you guys next time for our next help video. Take care. Ciao.